Victory often conjures images of triumph on the battlefield, a decisive blow that vanquishes the enemy. However, history and experience teach a valuable lesson, the path to ultimate success is rarely a straight line. Sometimes, true strategic brilliance lies in the willingness to cede ground in the short term, enduring a tactical defeat in order to secure a more significant victory in the long run. This concept, captured in the adage be willing to lose the battle in order to win the war, is a cornerstone of effective leadership across various endeavors. This approach hinges on a clear understanding of the bigger picture. A singular battle, while important, is just one piece of a larger campaign. Sacrificing a minor objective can be a calculated move to preserve resources, learn from the opponent's tactics, or lure them into a more vulnerable position. Sun Tzu, the ancient Chinese military strategist, emphasized this principle in his seminal work, The Art of War. He advocated for maneuvers that might appear like retreats but were ultimately designed to weaken the enemy and position one's forces for a decisive strike. Beyond warfare, this philosophy finds application in diverse fields. In business, a company might choose to forego immediate profit on a specific product line to gain market share and establish brand loyalty, ultimately leading to greater long-term profitability. Negotiation often involves making concessions on smaller points to achieve a more favorable outcome on core issues. Even in personal lives, individuals might choose to temporarily step back from an argument or a competition to avoid an emotional outburst or burnout, paving the way for a more productive and harmonious resolution later. However, the decision to concede a battle is not without its complexities. Discernment is crucial. Not every setback is a strategic retreat, some battles are simply worth fighting for, and giving up too readily can demoralize allies and embolden opponents. The key lies in carefully assessing the potential gains and losses of each engagement, and ensuring that the chosen path truly leads to a more advantageous position. Furthermore, a strategic retreat should not be a passive surrender. It should be accompanied by learning from the setback, adapting tactics, and regrouping for the ultimate objective. In conclusion, the willingness to lose a battle for the sake of winning the war is a mark of strategic foresight and leadership maturity. It requires a keen eye on the long game, the ability to make calculated sacrifices, and the resilience to learn and adapt from setbacks. By embracing this approach, individuals and organizations alike can navigate complex challenges and ultimately achieve their most cherished goals. Thank you for watching, I appreciate you, and God bless you.